everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's haul, a body update, and week one weigh-in. All right, you guys, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Becky, welcome. I would love if you consider joining me here on my journey back to health. This is Project Me series video number three. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, I thought I would tape this for you guys. Um, it's a Trader Joe's haul kind of give you a perspective of what I'm going to actually eat. This is going to be food for week three on my Project Me series. Getting those groceries packed in there as fast as possible. My camera keeps zooming in and out for some reason. Not sure why. This is a voiceover. Um, my house was too loud not to do a voiceover on this video, so I do apologize if you can hear my heater in the background because I am chilly. All right, so there's so many delicious things vitamin E oil blend. I thought I would mix this with some lotion since it is winter in Minnesota. I have some Trader Joe's brown jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice but I thought I would try the brown because I know it's probably better for me. First time trying Japanese sweet potatoes so I'm gonna give that a try this week. New seasonings. I always love trying new seasonings. This is recommended by many people. 21 seasoning salute. So I thought I would try it. We will see. All right, bananas. I go through bananas like water. We use them for smoothies and everything. 100% pineapple juice. I'm hoping this will take place of my monster. Sweet onions. I'm gonna use these in my chicken recipe this week. I thought I would try the Trader Joe's crumbled feta cheese. I figured why not um, put it in my salads, give them a little bit more flavor. This is another seasoning that I've been hearing about, everyone's craving about, so I'm going to try it. And I tried it on my eggs and it, it made the eggs taste so much better. Creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. I've used this before. I absolutely love this pasta sauce. It's very good. Not so good on calories, but for half a cup, it's about 120 calories but it would make any dish taste delicious. All right, 100% Trader Joe's mango juice. This is for my husband. I told him it was gonna take place of his monsters and he just laughed at me. Dark chocolate covered raisins. These are my mom's favorite, she's obsessed. This is my obsession, dark chocolate covered almonds. These are amazing, not too bad in the calories, but they're bad enough. And then mushrooms. I'm going to use these in a recipe that I'm going to try to make a good version to. And that would be um, green bean casserole. I'm going to try to make a version without all the sodium. So wish me luck. Alright, bell peppers. I cannot say enough about bell peppers. I know they're really, really good for you. They have so much vitamin C. You should be amazed at how much vitamins and how much nutrients bell peppers have. Look it up. But I can eat these like they're candy. I love them. Just plain or with veggie ranch dip. Spaghetti squash. So I use this in place of spaghetti noodles. Um, Maurice and the girls actually like it a lot. All right, regular sweet potatoes. I use these all the time. I make french fries. Um, they're just very, very good. Crispy, crunchy chocolate chip cookies. These are hands down for Maurice and the girls. Um, if I want a few, remember there's nothing, there's no food out there. That's off limits, but I just gotta be mindful um, of the calories. And it says 12 cookies for each serving. So that's not too bad for 150 calories. That would be a really good snack. Even if you had like six of the cookies, that would still be plenty. And then organic brown rice quinoa pasta. I use these pasta noodles all the time. So without further ado, let's get into the weigh-in and then my body update. I hope you guys did enjoy this haul. If you guys want more hauls like this, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. All right, without further ado, let's get into the weigh-in. All right, so today is Friday, January 15th. I'm actually on week two. This is week one results. So I'll be doing a basically a weigh-in and a body update, um, both preferably on the same day. But what I've run into is I normally do my weigh-in on Mondays. So I can still continue doing my weigh-in on Mondays. But I'm thinking about moving it to Fridays. 
So do my weigh-in on Friday and then Saturday do my body update, like Saturday morning. So I'm not rushing because I have a full-time job. Trying to get in a body update for you guys in the morning is extremely hard. So I'm gonna try something new. This is me, what I normally look like every day. I don't wear foundation. The only time I wear foundation is typically for you guys or for like my wedding I, or a big event. I don't wear a lot of foundation or makeup. When I don't wear eye makeup, I feel like I look sick or I look extremely tired. So I always do put eye makeup on every day. If I'm just grocery shopping or if I'm just out and about with my kids or my husband, this is how you will see me. I don't do a lot of makeup, never have. But I just wanted to be real with you guys. If you guys have any questions, please make sure you leave them down below. Let me know. And yeah. All right, without further ado, let's show you my weigh-in and my body update. 539 January 4th, Monday. All right, everyone, that is it for the Trader Joel's haul, body update, and my weigh-in for the week. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want more videos just like this one, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, you guys, thank you so much for listening, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.